Howdy everybody, David here, and this is another Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition Class Breakdown Tutorial. And this specific tutorial focuses on the Cleric Archetype, the Nature Domain. Now, the Cleric, from level 1 to 20, gets a multitude of class features already for the baseline of Cleric. Now, you can see that you get cantrips, you're going to get to cast spell levels 1 through spell level 9, you're going to get to have Channel Divinity, which is a major mechanic of the Cleric, which will involve Turn Undead and other things, uh, depending on the domain that you choose. You're going to get Ability Score Improvements that will increase your Ability Scores or allow you to take an optional feat. Later, as you level for the Cleric, you will get Destroy Undead and you'll gain more Channel Divinities. You'll also get Divine Intervention and as you level higher from level 10 you'll get another divine intervention improvement so as you can see the cleric already gets a multitude of things at their disposal between spell casting and all the other features so at level one the cleric is one of the few exceptions and they allow you to take an archetype at level one compared to a lot of other classes they have to wait till level two or level three so at level one you're going to get to choose the nature domain so let's go ahead and take a look at the nature domain and the nature domain gods of nature are as varied as the natural world itself from inscrutable gods of the deep force such as sylvanus obed high shislev balinor and pan to friendly deities associated with particular springs and groves such as eldath Druids revere nature as a whole and might even serve one of these deities, practicing mysterious rites and reciting all but forgotten prayers in their own secret tongue. But many of these gods have clerics as well, champions who take a more active role in advancing in the interest of a particular nature god. These clerics might hunt the evil monstrosities that despoil the woodlands, bless the harvest of the faithful, or wither the crops of those who anger their gods. So basically, it's straightforward. This is a nature-based type of cleric domain. It, it involves nature, it involves com animal companions, the beast, and it involves different types of other spells that are more druid based that are like Windwall for example. So you're gonna see that just like all the other cleric domains you get a number of domain spells. Now I will explain domain spells for you really quickly. When you are a cleric you get to cast spells. Now this doesn't mean that you can just cast any spell on you know on the spell list. You get a number of spells that you can pray to your deity uh, either every day or a long rest and when you pray to your deity you can have a number of spells depending on your spell casting modifier which would be wisdom for the cleric and your cleric level so the higher level you get the more spells that you have at your disposal in your daily spell pool now your spell slots are totally separate your spell slots are from levels one to nine and depending on what level spell you want to cast, you can cast those spells from your spell of pools that you have, mem you, you know, your, your pool of spells that you have memorized. And some of these spells can be upgraded with higher spell slots, depending on if the spell specifically says so in its wording and the mechanics for the, for the writing of that spell. So the domain spells add on top of your pool meaning you do not have to memorize these. You will have to use spell slots to cast them. They are not they are not a free spell cast by any means. You have to use spell slots on these domain spells. So I wanted to explain that a little bit. There's been a lot of confusion on what domain spells actually do and I hope that helped you out. So at level one you're gonna gain animal friendship, speak with animals. Level three you're going to get bark skin and spike growth. Level 5, you'll get plant growth, wind wall. Level 7, dominate beast, grasping vine. And finally at level 9, you'll get insect plague and tree stride. And these are all nature-based type of uh, spells. Now also at level 1, 
you're not only going to get your baseline cleric things, your you know your baseline cleric features, you'll also get the no nature domain features as well. Now, at one, you're going to get acolyte of nature, which this is where you learn one druid cantrip of your choice. So you can choose any druid cantrip from that long list of druid, druid cantrips, and you can cast that as one of your cantrips. You also will gain proficiency in one of the following skills of your choice, whether it be animal handling, nature, or survival. So that's a really nice level one class feature for the nature domain. Also, at level one, you are going to get a bonus proficiency. So this is where you are going to gain proficiency with heavy armor because the cleric does not get proficiency with the baseline cleric. It gets medium armor. So this bonus proficiency allows you to wear heavy armor. Really nice. Now you're also going to see that you are going to gain another proficiency in one of the following skills of your choice whether it be animal handling, nature, or survival. So at level one you're going to get two more bonus proficiencies and that is really nice. Now at level two you are going to get your channel divinity for the nature domain and this is charm animals and plants so this is where you use your channel divinity to charm these things you charm a beast charm an animal charm a plant so as an action you present your holy symbol and invoke the name of your deity each beast or plant creature that can see you within 30 feet of you must make a wisdom saving throw against your saving throw DC. If the creature fails its saving throw, it is charmed for by you for one minute or until it takes damage. While it is charmed by you, it is friendly to you and other creatures that you designate it to be friendly to. That's really straightforward. So the key is each beast so each beast or plant, not just one, each beast or plant, that's really nice. That, that, that could be really good for RP. That could also help for maybe slowing down enemies. So charm animals and plants is a really nice channel divinity. And that's what you're going to get at level 2. Now at level 6, you're going to get dampen elements. And dampen elements is when you or a creature within 30 feet of you takes acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage. So basically it's all of the elements, all of the damage from the elements. So if you're hit with this damage you can use your reaction as long as you have one to grant resistance to that creature that you give dampen elements to. Uh, it will resist the damage. So this is how it works. We'll say that uh, you get hit by a, f well, either you or a creature gets hit by a fireball. So you can designate that as your reaction. You can grant resistance to that target or to yourself. And what resistance is in D&D 5th edition, resistance means that you take half damage. It's really nice. So if, instead of getting hit by that, I think fireball is 8d6, maybe you'll take 48 damage. So if you have resistance, you'll only take 24. So dampen elements is really nice. And it can be more than just fire. It can be acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. So that's dampen elements. Now at level 8, much like all of the other cleric domains, they get a divine strike. And it's usually catered to that domain. So you're going to get one for the nature domain as well at level 8. And this is where you gain the ability to infuse your weapon strikes with divine damage. Once on each of your turns, when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can cause the attack to deal an extra 1d8 cold, fire, or lightning damage. And you can choose the choice of the type of damage you want to affect the target. That's really nice. So, one time, that's the key once on each of your turns when you hit a creature with a weapon attack it has to be a weapon attack you can cause extra damage cold fire lightning 1d8 take into consideration as you level this feature will also level with you so at level 14 
the extra damage increases from 1d8 to 2d8. So it's really nice. That's Divine Strike. Last, you're going to get Master of Nature. Now, Master of Nature is a really nice... This is probably the bread and butter uh, of, of the actual nature domain. And this is when you gain the ability to command animals and plant creatures. While creatures are charmed by your charm animals and plants feature from your channel divinity, you can take a bonus action on your turn to verbally command what each of those creatures will do on its next turn. And that is crazy. So a bonus action will allow you to verbally command each creature. I mean, think about that. If you have ten plants and three charmed animals, that is a lot of value for a bonus action. So this could be great for RP, this could be good for setting a trap, this could be good for a multitude of things and it would be up to the player and the DM to figure it out of what they want to do. So there you go everyone, there is the nature domain for the cleric. I hope you guys enjoyed this class breakdown. Please feel free to leave a comment down below or feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you need a character sheet, I have 840 Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition character sheets. Every class, every archetype, every level from 1 to 20 on nice 3-page PDF formats. The link will be down below for all of the clerics. Thank you again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.